have discovered, Soph. Elenchi, 33. 18. Neither must we forget that the Republic is but the third part of a still larger design which was to have included an ideal history of Athens, as well as a political and physical philosophy. The fragment of the Krishas has given birth to a world famous fiction, second only in importance to the tale of Troy and the legend of Arthur, and is said as a fact to have inspired some of the early navigators of the 16th century. This mythical tale, of which the subject was a history of the wars of the Athenians against the island of Atlantis, is supposed to be founded upon an unfinished poem of Solon, to which it would have stood in the same relation as the writings of the logographers to the poems of Homer. It would have told of a struggle for liberty, cp. Tim. 25 c, intended to represent the conflict of Persia and Hellas. We may judge from the noble commencement of the Timaeus from the fragment of the Krishas itself, and from the third book of the laws, in what manner Plato would have treated this high argument. We can only guess why the great design was abandoned, perhaps because Plato became sensible of some incongruity in a fictitious history, or because he had lost his interest in it, or because advancing years forbade the completion of it, and we may please ourselves with the fancy that had this imaginary narrative ever been finished we should have found Plato himself sympathizing with the struggle for Hellenic independence, cp. Laws, 3. 698 ff, singing a hymn of triumph over Marathon and Salamis, perhaps making the reflection of Herodotus, v. 78, where he contemplates the growth of the Athenian Empire, how brave a thing is freedom of speech which has made the Athenians so far exceed every other state of Hellas in greatness. Or, more probably, attributing the victory to the ancient good order of Athens and to the favour of Apollo and Athene, cp. Interrod. To Grishas. Again, Plato may be regarded as the captain, Archigas, or leader of a goodly band of followers, for in the Republic is to be found the original of Cicero's De Republica of Street, Augustine's City of God, of the Utopia of Sir Thomas More, and of the numerous other imaginary states which are framed upon the same model, the extent to which Aristotle or the Aristotelian school were indebted to him in the politics has been little recognized, and the recognition is the more necessary because it is not made by Aristotle himself. The two philosophers had more in common than they were conscious of and probably some elements of Plato remain still undetected in Aristotle. In English philosophy too, many affinities may be traced, not only in the works of the Cambridge Platonists, but in great original writers.